Okay, welcome to the work table here. This is a Pioneer 3D Blu-ray player and the door is jammed open. It goes about that far and then doesn't want to go any further. So I'm going to guess the user probably had trouble popping it open and then maybe popped it open by force and knocked something off the track, I'm guessing. Um, so we're going to take it apart and see if we can get her to work again. Alright. Okay, so for the record, this is model BDP62FD. Okay. And it's got HDMI outs and a LAN, so I'm assuming this is a smart thing with computerized things and then a coaxial digital out USB and RS-232C Java powered does anybody actually even like Java anymore? okay so if you ever just got into something and the first thing you had to say was what in the heck okay look at this I found it this way I swear this wire is laying in here this is supposed to plug right there on the board so did somebody pick this up and shake it in a fit of rage? I don't know. So, what we've got is this mech is coming up way too soon. This is like coming up and stopping this. So, my guess is it's just kind of like popped off the track. So, let's see what we can do to remedy that. I'm going to need a smaller screwdriver to take that apart. Um, but my guess is, is this is kind of slid forward on the gear mech. So, this is pushing the lower lifter is coming up too soon okay fun fun okay I think I've got a handle on this I took the top off just so I can see it as I go to slide back that's popping up way too early there's a pin down here in this thing and I think this is supposed to go into this track on the corner and it's like on this side of the track so it's getting pushed over prematurely so it should be a matter of getting this white pin back in the track I think Okay, I just tried to disengage some gears and walk it back, and now it's kind of, it's better, but it's still not there, because as you can see, the mech stick's going out now. And that, see, that's what Buddy did, is he got it on here and then just pulled it, and the gears went all the way through, instead of rolling nicely, because something is not lined up in its pin and track. So I'm going to have to take this piece out and see about getting it aligned back in there. Okay, just as I had suspected... There's a white pin, and I have no idea if the camera can see this. There's a white pin right there on this mech that is supposed to ride in a track on this side, and that's popped out. So we correct that, and I think we'll be back in business. Okay, so after putting that back on the um, mech here, let's give this a little test. Okay, get it. Okay, it comes out three quarters of the way, and then kind of gets sticky didn't make it all the way. Going in, it does make it all the way. Coming out, it makes it most of the way. Did it make it all the way? Well, it seems like it does make it. That's as far as it goes. And then it hits a stop. Okay, close, open. That's more than enough to put the disc in. I'm surprised it doesn't come out just another half a centimeter, but that's well more than enough to put the disc in. So, my buddy was having trouble getting this to open and close. I haven't figured it out. Oh, there it's sticking. Nope, there it goes. Okay, there was close. I wonder if to close the drive, he's just like shoving the drawer. We're shoving the drawer really hard. Not a thousand percent sure. Okay, it thinks it's reading. Okay, so now it's actually trying to close and it's, the belt's like slipping. It's getting caught. So let's give that a little gentle nudge there. Okay, closed. Let's try open again. It's going to open. Now it's going to close. Now it's going to open. It's going to be boring watching this over and over again. I mean, I can tell there's a little bit of... And that belt's not great, but it could be worse. I 
I guess if anything I'll just grease the gears and the slides at the bottom of this um, so the drive can slide a little bit freer and uh, test it a whole bunch more times and just open and close the drawer like say 50 times and then we'll make sure that it plays. I mean playing was not an issue prior but uh, you never know you know when they've been messed up but um, so I'm just going to put some grease here on the bottom uh, right you know where it slides on the tracks and grease the tracks real good just make it easy for it to get back and forth and if that uh, didn't solve it and it doesn't work you can, I guess this video will continue but otherwise uh, I think we're good okay so I just put the rest of the jazz back together and let's see I can't seem to uh, find any additional fault in it. it seems to be okay go yay Sometimes when you put a disc in here, the disc itself will, you know, somehow cause a jam or something stupid to happen, but that does not appear to be the case. It looks like uh, this unit is ready to go back to the customer. Um, just a real simple, just a matter of aligning that back on its platform and greasing the rails. Um, if you do own any CD, DVD player with this type of slide tray, um, particularly in environments where there are people who smoke in the home a lot of times there will get some uh, residue and tar and stuff will kind of turn that grease to peanut butter or dry it up and then dumb stuff happens so um, easy fixes are good fixes have a great day